second grade. Okay, so as I told you in the introduction video, we're going to be getting our buckets out again and doing some more bucket rhythms, okay? So get out whatever it was that you were using last week, whether it was this bucket, a smaller bucket, your leg, the floor, the table, it doesn't really matter, okay? As long as you've got something that you can tap on. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to display the screen. We're going to review some of these uh, pizza pie rhythms that you did last week, and then we're going to see if we can play this small bucket and big bucket line with a backing track that I created with my iPad, okay? All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, so let's go over um, some of these rhythms so we can remember how they go before we jump in and try that uh, song at the bottom with the backing track that I have created, okay? All right, so let's try this one first. Let's look it over. Notice um, whenever we have a top, we just simply say pie, and I want you to use it with both hands. If we have um, a TT, we're going to say pizza, and you're going to alternate TT. Okay, so let's see if we can get all of these rhythms down below a try, starting with this beat. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Pie, pie, pizza, pie. Pizza, 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 pie. Everybody got it? Awesome. So now we're going to scroll down into our next set of rhythms. So now we have our pizza, again, the TT. We also have our ta, which we're going to call pie, but now we've added this new guy. So that is our pepperoni. And remember, he's a tika tika, and that's how many sounds happening on one beat. How many sounds? Four. That's right. It's one sound happening over, uh, well, I'm sorry, four sounds happening over one beat. Got my little words mixed up there. Okay, so let's try and see if we can do all of these starting with this rhythm. One, two, ready, go. Pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza, pepperoni, pepperoni pizza. Let's give that one another try because that's a lot of beats that you have to do, making sure you alternate and then you get a pie at the end. Okay, so let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. Pepperoni Excellent. Okay. All right. So let's scroll down again. And now we're going to try to practice with some of our tricky rhythms with the uh, gooey cheese and the down here hamburger. Okay. So remember the gooey cheese was the tikka tea. Okay. That was the tikka tea. And then our hamburger was the tea tikka. Remember that. All right, so let's give it a try, starting with this gooey cheese right here, and then we're going to do all of the rhythms, okay? So here we go. One, two, ready, go. Gooey cheese pizza, gooey cheese pie, hamburger pie, hamburger pizza. My drum keeps trying to fall off here, okay? Let's try those again, because when you get to the hamburger pie part, you have to remember that moving from the burger to the pie is going to be a quick move, and you have to do both hands every time you do pie. So let's try it again, starting at our gooey cheese. One, two, ready, go. Gooey cheese pizza, gooey cheese pie, hamburger pie, hamburger pizza. Okay? All right, so now let's get into our song. So we are going to start with the big bucket line and we're gonna do a review of it, you guys, okay? All right, now, to do this review of what we did last time, because we didn't play it all back to back, all right? We, um, we're going to have our backing track going, our pizza pie backing track. And I'm gonna turn this all the way up and even move the microphone so we can hear this really, really well in the speaker, okay? All right, cool, we are all set up here. All right, now, I'm gonna have to be scrolling down every now and then, so if every so often my hand, one of my hands comes off of the bucket and I'm using one hand to tap the rhythms, that's because I am scrolling the page down so we can see the next rise. I'm doing that with my mouse over here, okay? So that's what you're gonna see. All right, are you guys ready? I will count you off before we start the big bucket line. So remember, the big bucket line is made up of 
several different patterns and you're going to do each of these patterns four times in a row. Our first pattern was pie, pie, pizza, pie. So look down here. That was our first pattern. Pie, pie, pizza, pie. We do that four times. Our second pattern started here. Look down below me. We've got pizza, pie, pizza, pie. That was our second pattern, okay? Pattern number three starts right here before I have to start scrolling the page down. And that's where we add pepperoni to it. So let's see if we can try this, this number, th uh, pattern number three. Pepperoni, pizza, pepperoni, pizza, okay? Now that's the third pattern. Let's scroll down and see if we can find pattern number four. So pattern number four is actually right there, okay? So we still got some pepperonis, but now we've added some pies. All right, so let's try saying this one. Here we go. Pie, pie, pepperoni, pepperoni, okay? All right, so that's pattern number four. Let's scroll down and see if the pattern changes. It does change when we get here. Notice it just goes straight pies. Pie, 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 pie. You're gonna do that one more time right here. Pie, 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 pie. And then in this section down below me, both the small bucket and the big bucket line are doing the same thing. Pizza, pizza, hamburger pie, gooey cheese, gooey cheese, pepperoni pie, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna scroll back to the top and we're gonna look at the beginning and remember, I'm going to be scrolling. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, sure, you can see that a lot better now. All right, let me move me out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down as we go so that we can keep up with where we are while we're playing it with the backing track, okay? So we're gonna start with the big bucket line and I'm gonna count you off when to start. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Pie, pie, pizza pie. Pie, pie, pizza pie. Pie, pie, pizza pie. Pie, pie, pizza pie. Next line, pie, pie, pie. Pizza pie, pizza pie, pizza pie. Change pepperoni pizza, 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 change pie, pie, pepperoni, pepperoni, pie, pie, pepperoni, pepperoni, down, pie, pie, pepperoni, pepperoni, pie, pie, pepperoni, pepperoni, pie, 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 that's nine. Pie, 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 pie. Pizza, pizza, hamburger pie. Gooey cheese, gooey cheese, pepperoni pie. Okay, you guys did awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll back to the top and look and see what we've got going on on this small bucket line, okay? So look down below me here and now I want you to notice something. Look at the word pizza. Do you notice that they've linked two of them together? This is not the tika tika pattern. Just because we have four of these symbols hooked together does not make them tika tika. What you've got to look at is if it's one line going across the top or is it two lines going across the top? If it's only one line going across the top like our first beat here, then we're just simply looking at regular old TTs. So for this particular song, we're just gonna say pizza, pizza, okay? Kind of like the Little Caesars guy from the commercials. But if we're doing tika tika, that pattern has two lines going across the top and that's when you say pepperoni. So these, this pizza, pizza down here, that's actually two beats, four sounds over two beats because I've got two TTs and each TT is worth one beat. But this pepperoni right here, that guy is four sounds on one beat. So basically the more lines you add to the top, the quicker that pattern's gonna go. So let's try this pattern here, okay? Notice we're starting with a couple of pizzas and then we do a pepperoni and then we do another pizza. 
So let's just try these four beats right here below me. One, two, ready, go. Pizza, pizza, pepperoni pizza. Yeah, just like that. Very good. And notice we're going to do that pattern. One, two, three, four times before we change to this pattern. Okay, now check out this pattern. Now we've added a couple of hamburgers with our pizza pie. Oof, I am making myself hungry. Is it my lunchtime yet? <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Let's do a couple of hamburgers and two pies. You ready? One, two, ready, go. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. Let's try that one again. Here we go. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. You guys are awesome. Now notice we do that pattern. One. Let me find it. Two, three, and four. It's just extended a long way out, but we're going to do that pattern four times. Did you notice in the big bucket line, we also did patterns four times in a row? Mm hmm That's right. Okay, now let's see if that was the second pattern. Let's see if we can find pattern number three. Pattern number three just happens to start right here, okay? Now, again, ignore these X's on the notes. Don't worry about those. That were if we had sticks that we were playing with, but unfortunately, you're not in the classroom, so we don't have sticks to play with. Okay, so we're just using our hands, so we're just going to treat it like a regular note. All right, so for this one, what do we start with? Yeah, that's right, gooey cheese. Then we say pie, gooey cheese, and pie. Let's give that a try. Ready? Go. Gooey cheese pie, gooey cheese pie. Now let's see how many times we do this pattern. One, two, three, and four. So just like our first two patterns for the small bucket line, we do this one four times. So let's scroll down and see what our ending looks like here. Okay, notice our ending. We've changed our pattern again. So this is pattern number four, okay? All right, so notice we've got a couple of pizzas. We got a hamburger and we got a pie. Woof, I'm getting really hungry now. Okay, so let's try this pattern. Ready, go. Pizza, pizza, hamburger, pie. Awesome. And how many times do you think we're gonna do this pattern? Look at the screen. Four times, that's right. One, two, three, four. Hold on. Five! We actually do this pattern five times. They broke the sequence. Oh my goodness. And that is because the big bucket line has joined us in the small bucket line, and then they all play to the end. So this ending here, you've already done it. Okay? All right, so I want to scroll back to the top. We're going to turn our back beat back on, on the iPad, and we are going to play this small bucket line with our backing track. Now we're not gonna start as quick as we did this time. So there's a bass beat that plays and we're gonna let the bass beat play for 16 beats before we come in. So that is, um, we're just basically gonna count to 16 and then we're gonna start. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Remember we're looking at the small bucket line this time and I'm gonna be scrolling so every now and then my hand's gonna come off the bucket, and I'm going to try and do this one-handed so that I can scroll down the screen at the same time. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's count to 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Pizza, pizza, pepperoni pizza. Pizza, pizza, pepperoni. One more time. Pizza, pizza, pepperoni. Switch. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. Hamburger, hamburger, pie, pie. Gooey cheese pie. Gooey cheese pie. Gooey cheese. Sorry, guys. Gooey cheese pie. Gooey cheese pie. Gooey cheese pie. Gooey cheese pie. Here we go. Pizza, pizza, hamburger pie. 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 Ending. Gooey cheese, gooey cheese, pepperoni pie. All right. Sorry.
sorry for me getting a little uh, mixed up there in the middle. Uh, again, I'm trying to do three things at once, get this going, play the bucket, and scroll down the screen, and read it, and keep you in tempo all the same time. So it can get a little tricky at times on my end. So please forgive me. I'm so sorry, okay? Okay, so I hope you had a good time putting these pizza pie rhythms together with our backing track that I created. And maybe when I get you back into the classroom, I can uh, get out a special little item that I have in this classroom for you guys, and I can show you how we, you can make your own backing track to some of these rhythms that we do, okay? All right, so next week we're going to do some really cool activities. We're going to continue working on some rhythms um, and some songs, and you might even be creating your own songs. I know, so cool. All right, so I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to take your quiz. I so appreciate everyone who's making sure to keep up with their lessons and their quizzes and that way you're not behind when you get back into the music class which I cannot wait to see you guys face to face okay all right so make sure to take your quiz and put your name on it and I will see you later bye